one of the people I was interviewing was saying that she had to learn how to be staff, not just mom. Um, oh, and, yes. And, and sort of, you know, really take on that distinction and be clear about it, which, which she felt actually made her a better parent. I went through that in reverse. I became a staff member before mm. I had children. And it really helped me in my parenting and understanding how to be a parent. But I, I mean, mm. being a staff is one of the hardest jobs I've ever had. There's no boss. There's no one telling you how <laughs> to do this. It's only what has right, happened right. before and what you feel as though you can bring to the table. So it is the most rewarding job I've ever had. Definitely the best job I've ever had, but it is the mm. hardest job I've ever had because of that, having to learn how to be a staff right and it, it fights a lot of what is natural for us to be intervening in, in what kids are doing and making sure that everything is constantly as we're used to it and all of that. You have to fight that authoritative nature of yourself to micromanage everything. Right. Um, so it can be really challenging. I know myself, I came from a law firm, so I am used to the total opposite of rigidity. Um, so it was mm. very freeing to be able to come to something so welcoming and open and transparent. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.